welcome to Review Time with Tim. Uh, today I am bringing you another Burger King special. Uh, Burger King has really kind of gone out of the box and is really trying different things to uh, grab people to bring them into their restaurants and things like that. Um, in my last video with Burger King, it was the Burger King Taco. Um, but now Burger King has come out with the Impossible Whopper. Um, which is a plant-based burger. So we're looking at a veggie patty type of thing. Um, and, well, here it is. The Double Whopper Impossible Whopper. And uh, at first smell, it actually does have a little bit of a smell of the, uh, the Whopper. So we shall see. Let's open it up at first glance here. All right, all right. It's got all the the normal toppings of a Whopper. Has a bit of a flame broiled uh, scent to it. Hmm. Patty. I don't know if you can see that or not. It almost looks like Whopper patty for for the most part. Yeah. Try a little bit here without anything on it. A little bit of a, a little bit of a smoky taste from the flame broil. Surprisingly, has the consistency of a burger. That's not. That was pretty meaty, meaty flavor. Hmm. It even, even looks like a burger, like with meat. Definitely colored it like a hamburger for sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, Burger King has really, um, really hit the hit the mark on if you're trying to go for a burger flavor that is not actually a burger. I feel like they've really hit that hit that combination there on flavor and texture. A lot of times when you get veggie patties, they're kind of mushy or they got too much beans in them or something else. But they really hit the. Um, Hit the mark on this one, I think. All right, let's see. Let's take a bite of the actual. Mm. Taking a bite of the whole sandwich, you almost get that Whopper-like feel because you got the, the chunks of lettuce, the tomato on it, uh, the onions, the mayo, the pickles. The burger, like I said, it's really close. Obviously, if you eat a lot of burger or whatever, you'll know the difference. You'll be able to tell. But I think Burger King has done a really nice job on the Impossible Whopper and trying to make it seem like it's an actual burger patty. I mean, that looks pretty darn close. It almost reminds me of like uh, something you would buy in a box at the grocery store. So it's got, got that very similar similar texture to it. This is uh this is pretty impressive. Nice job, Burger King. Way to think outside the box. Um, and it's quite tasty. Um, I could see um getting this again actually. All right, so um on a review scale today of one to ten, obviously ten being the best and one being the worst. Um, for a veggie patty that is supposed to be looking like a hamburger, um the the actual looking part, I'm gonna give that. A 9.5 for actually looking like burger um, and having almost like the same texture as burger. Um, I could almost be fooled and be like, this isn't even a veggie burger, to be honest. Um, for taste wise, I'm going to go with an 8 on the patty. It's You can tell slightly that it doesn't have that, that meat base, but it, then it kind of goes away. Um, so, overall, nice job, Burger King. And uh, if you liked my review, or like my review on this Burger King one, or you missed my other review on the Burger King taco, uh, you can check out the link below. So there you have it, folks. Burger King's Impossible Burger Review. Check y'all later.